Uh, you can get into the show, 844-770-3776. And right now, 55% of you are annoyed with the Green Bay Packers' handling of trades and free agency. I agree with them. I don't know how you cannot be annoyed with them. I, I don't think uh, – Are you? did you say just this year when you just said it just now? As far as I didn't, I didn't add just this year. It's okay. all the time, though. I mean, that's why we did yeah. free agency too. And I don't think you're required. You don't think you're asking them to go crazy. I mean, it's tricky though, too, because it's like okay, but then you look at what they did this past off season, and they got Xavier McKinney, who's been crushing it, arguably the best player on the team, and then you've got Josh Jacobs, who's been performing incredibly well as too as well. So it's like. Part of me is like, okay, does that part butter me up a little bit when it comes to these kind of things where I'm wishing that the Packers were making moves and doing different things? I don't know. Now, here's the thing I don't I, – someone else chimed in. and Signing McKinney and Jacobs, yes. But, again, I think the Jacobs one is still – I'd still call it a wash for Jones. Jones would have been cheaper. And, I, I mean, right now Jones has still been – We'll see how the year shakes out, but Jones has been healthy and pretty close to obviously not Jacobs' effect on it, but like I don't know if he needed to start running back. But McKinney, obviously a great signing, but this isn't a one-year thing. Um, mm-hmm. And also the rest of these teams, the, the Chiefs signed players, and then they said they signed Hollywood Brown, and then they yeah. Hollywood Brown got hurt, and they said, well, I guess we got to go get someone else. Uh, the Lions signed players in free agency, and they, their star defensive end got hurt. And they said, "You know what? I guess we gotta go get someone else." The Steelers. See, but is that also different? Is that also different though? Like because the Packers haven't had anybody that's gotten hurt, but they didn't have to but go they, out and they, get they, anybody. They've like, never made a trade. So the Chiefs historically over the last few years have made trades. The Steelers obviously made some trades this year. They don't have any injuries. They just went and got someone. And I'm using the Chiefs and the Steelers as major examples. But even Detroit, who's been better than the Packers unquestionably over the last three years. That like those teams, they're not the the Bears or the Cowboys or the Jets grasping at straws. Those are three legitimate franchises. And two, if you want to be nitpicking on it, you can't argue with the Chiefs and the Steelers over the Packers. They know what they're doing. They're not some like let's just chase the candy high team. Yeah, no, no, no. I, th- I think the Chiefs are a great example. And it's like, I, I mean, I think we've talked about this, Jim, before, but like. They somehow just find a way to freaking win. They find a way, even if they lose every single receiver that they have, they go pick up one, and then they're insane and they win. That they are such an anomaly, and I wish that the Packers were like that, but it's, I, I think there is something to be said of when you're forced into a position where I don't know if the Packers have been. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't. it doesn't feel like they've been in a situation in the last few years where they've had to go get anybody. I don't know. Am I wrong? The Packers? I mean, yeah. Is, is there anybody that they had to go get because they lost the running back no, to an injury? No, you have to no. They, but like, like, you know what I mean. But going back to this, not saying that's, you, that's right. You or have wrong. Super Bowl aspirations because mm-hmm. we're not talking about just Goody. Uh, we could go back to the Randy Moss thing. We go back to the Marshawn Lynch thing. You have Super Bowl ap- aspirations. You're telling me Lattimore wouldn't have made a huge difference or Newsom. Like, no, your defense is not. Put, yeah. Your defense is not elite right now. It's better than it was last year, but it's not elite. You have a hole at corner. Without a if doubt. I, if anything, that is the position that uh, they would have needed to go and been forced to go because it's like Jair, who knows how hard he is, who knows how often he's going to be hurt this season. He's already missed, what, two games this year? You kind of have to and budget it's like for it. Yeah. Eric Stokes, bleh, can't stand even looking at Eric Stokes on the football field. You're right. And the Nixon is not really an outside corner. And I know they use some of the safeties, but again, more on the inside. As a outside corner, there's not a ton of depth there, they could have added the player. So like this year specifically, you're right, because of injury they haven't had to. Although Rashawn Gary missed a chunk of time, and I think he got hurt before the trade deadline a couple years ago. But because of injury, I don't think you have to go specifically to it, but you don't always have to make a trade for injury. The Steelers are making two trades. They wanted to add a better receiver, and they wanted to add a little bit of pass rushing depth. But also, I would like to point this out. The Packers cleared up $2 million in 2024. And then like, okay, 7.6 in 2025 for uh, trading him. But, like, that doesn't – that would have happened if you cut him, too. So, like, this trade is not – the trade is whatever. It's a wash. Like, it's not anything special or crazy or really chess while everyone else plays checkers moved by the Packers. It's, it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. Like, it does thin them out a little bit. But if you want to get a seventh-round pick for a guy you're going to cut in the offseason, sure, why not? Because that's what was going to happen. They were saving us money regardless. They, now they just they get it in the offseason. Yeah. And they'll, they'll get a pick for it. 
I'm fine. I don't think it's the end of the world, but I, I do think people have to have their uh, facts straight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, we have uh, Eric chiming yeah, in yeah. Uh, with yeah. the first time meme uh, with the two people with their head in the noose. Uh, then we have uh, why so serious chiming in. None of the above business as usual. Matt Hyman chimes in. Uh, none of those words fit. I agree with how they handle trades and been active in free agency. They've been active this year in free agency. And Matt, don't come crying when they don't when they come up short at the end of the year because they don't handle trades. They don't do trades. Like they just don't do them. And they value draft picks. We just can't talk about the Packers. I think annoyed, confused, or frustrated is fine because we can't talk about the Packers like they're the Patriots or they're the Chiefs. Well, it's funny or they're even the Patriots. The 49ers. The uh, Yard Possum says, have you seen the similarities of how the Chiefs have been winning? They're doing very similar things to how the Patriots play. Exactly. Like, we still need to understand that the just like with the Brewers, it's the same thing of like, just because you're close doesn't mean you're there. It, just because you're better than some other teams doesn't mean you're there. Like, the Packers can't walk around like their front office poop don't stink because they're building very good teams. The Green Bay Packers are title town, right? So I, mean, I think it's fair yes. to say, and I'm not saying to make any sort of trade, but if you're going to call yourself Title Town and you're going to walk around like your crap don't stink, then actually get back to the Super Bowl and maybe getting a player during the season and not always hoarding draft picks. Aaron Rodgers took a shot at him today on Pat McAfee's show. You're telling me Aaron Rodgers no. overtime? Aaron Rodgers, well, the Packers are right moving off Aaron Rodgers, but Aaron Rodgers was right over the years that there were times they could have gotten someone more. 100%. <laughs> I, that's, or that's they've the moved off a player you, too early. Yeah, it's the things that you think about or that you don't want to think about because you don't want to think about how the outcome would have been changed and how it would have been differently, especially in those Aaron Rodgers years where it's like, okay, if you would have gotten one more receiver, they, they one tried more to, guy, They tried to make that done? Marshawn Lynch trade back in the day, primetime with that information. There, there was even like, remember, they traded out Jordy Nelson for Jimmy Graham. And I know Jordy wasn't great with the Raiders, but I still feel like Jordy with the Packers one last season would have done better because they gave Jordy Nelson an insulting offer and then went and signed Jimmy Graham instead. And that- Jim, are you controlling our Twitter right now? Why? I'm not. I don't have any we are just Maybe it's Ryan. We're just retweeting like people's responses. Yeah, that's <laughs> in- getting fan engagement. Oh, is that how you do that? that that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, we're interacting with our fans. Is that? Do you not? Gotcha. Do you not agree with me, Molly? Should we not no, I, get the I, fans involved? I will say that I am not a social media queen, so I do not have any input on this. Well, I, I am a queen. Curious. Okay, so do not question me. Fair. He is social media king. He is our queen, <laughs> and he loves social media. 